What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna be showing you guys how to diagnostic a problem with the window on the Nissan Frontier. This process you can use it to check uh, Nissan Frontier and Nissan Pathfinder. Right now we have this window. That one is working okay. Right here if I put try to put down the, the passenger side, it doesn't move. Customer states that every time he hits it, it goes up and down. I mean, it moves. Even if I try from the passenger side switch, it doesn't do anything. Right now, I'm guessing from what, what the customer told me, sounds like it could be the, the little motor, window motor. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to confirm the problem is the window motor or how to verify if it's gonna be the switch that is having the problem. I don't think it's a switch because if it was a switch, it wouldn't work from here and it will work from that, the, from over there and the other way around. So let's go ahead and test if we're getting power to the motor and I'm gonna show you guys the process how to remove the door panel to start. Okay guys, so the problem we have with this window, only when you hit the, the door, it starts working out of nowhere. So right now, I remove the door panel, I plug back the, the switch, and, and I'm gonna test here on the motor, see if we're getting any power and ground going to it. If we're getting power and ground, that means the problem is gonna be the, the little motor. If we're not getting power or ground, that means the problem is gonna be in the switch. So let's check. So here I'm gonna go ahead and just unplug the connector for the motor. You just have to squeeze it. And here's where we're gonna check if we're getting power and ground when you hit the switch. We're gonna make sure we have the ignition on. All right, we have ignition fully on. We have power on our sister. If you want to know what is the process on how to remove the door panel, I'm going to leave a link in the description. It's just a small short video on how to remove the, this door panel. See, when I hit this switch here, we're getting power to go into the motor. Now if I go on the other connector and I go up, I should be getting power. We'll see the voltage going to the motor. So doing this test is gonna guarantee us that the problem is not the power going to the motor. The, the problem is the motor already weak and only when you hit it, it starts to work and that's how you get the, the window up or down. So for this repair, we're just gonna replace the little motor. And uh, this is gonna be it for this video, guys. Follow me for the next video. We're gonna be showing you the process of how to remove and install the new motor. See you in the next one.